Young activists are playing a major part to highlight the crisis. We met one woman leading the fight against climate change in Nigeria. My name is Eliza Soadenike. I'm an eco-feminist, climate justice activist, and an eco-reporter. Using a video blog as her fighting tool. Okay, welcome everyone to this, um, this important interview. With me is an amazing human called um, Steph Dean. And I'm also the founder of Filet Climate Action Initiative that specializes in peace, security, equality in Africa, especially the Lake Chad region. And the climate crisis is really a bigger issue. And but yet we have a victory. We have um, like a good news for the planet. We have some incredible women that have been able to come together to see how we could make climate protection possible. And we have her in the studio today. She's going to be sharing the journey of the landmark victory they had in Switzerland in able to fight for human rights in relation to the climate crisis and the court, which was won. It wasn't an easy journey, but they made it possible and they won. And so to celebrate and to get more insight about how this was possible and how we could also localize it in our different community or even nation, it's what we're going to hear today. And so we'll briefly ask Stan Stephanie to tell us more about herself and these incredible women that came together to make this victory possible. Up to you now. Thank you very much, Adenike. Hello, everybody. I'm very pleased to be here with you today. And uh, as I told Adenike already, we still are under some kind of shock about uh, this uh, issue and this verdict, which is really um, very, very um, landmarking, if I can say mm -hmm. so, for us. And it's also a... a, a, a um, um, a big, a big gain for us, a big victory because we have been fighting all this year long, uh, eight years. The association I'm uh, part of it, the Senior Women for Climate Switzerland, were founded in 2016, and since then we tried to ask our government to take more efficient measures, to take measures to protect us especially older women uh, you know that um, know that uh, people uh, aged people senior people are um, much impacted much more than than um, um, other other parts of populations here in in Europe at least and um, especially among the senior uh, people uh, women elderly women, we had a high mortality rate since these heat waves in 2003 and 2015. And um, uh, we elderly women are very, uh, are suffering very much. So we are, um, and are dying from the heat waves, from, the, from this uh, great heat waves that are striking now more and more, uh, especially also countries like Switzerland, which is an alpine country, which is uh, particularly affected. We have more than two degrees warming and are not at all um, on the, online for the Paris Agreement for the 1.5 um, um, degrees. So um, we had a long journey in our country. Um, we were, our, our um, demands were refused by government, by administration. We went to court, to all levels of courts until the Supreme Swiss Court um, were also uh, they didn't even um, uh, enter into the into the subject they didn't want to uh, to treat our our demand and uh, so we went to Strasbourg. Just to ask from where you stopped it took you how many years again for you guys to be able to have this victory? How long have you started pushing for this court case? Well, as I said, our, our association was founded in 2016 mm -hmm. and um, uh, took the Swiss uh, courts very long, up to 2020, to, um, to make their judgments and to, to refuse our cases. 
uh, whereas the European Court for Human Rights in Strasbourg was um, dealing with our demand uh, in priority, we directly went in front of the Great Chamber, which is uh, quite unusual and which shows that the court uh, attribute or has attributed um, a very uh, high importance to our case. Uh, because uh, it's it's clear it is it's the first case where the um, the court has to judge about um, if human rights and climate protection are really seriously linked. If protection from heat waves from the effects of climate change is a human right, and that's what was at stake. That was the issue. So this is why um, our our case is is uh, has been uh, uh, such an echo and so, so much um, uh, people who, who were waiting for that. It, it wasn't the only case. We had uh, two other cases uh, at the same day from the young Portuguese um, who also wanted to make the case from their human rights as young people and climate protection. Unfortunately, the the, the court refused this um, this case because uh, it was just a formal um, refusal. I mean, they didn't um, they didn't go to their courts in Portugal first. They directly addressed themselves to the European Court, um, and um, this is uh, the way they they don't want to deal with. Uh, it's the you have the obligation to go first to all your courts um, in, dom in domestic courts. And then if you're refused um, on, on national level, you can go to, to Strasbourg. So this was, uh, I think, from, from the material case, they would have won, but not for the formal case. And we were very, um, um, it's an intergenerational case also. We were really collaborating very much with them and uh, supporting each other. And we also went to them uh, just after the verdict and said, look, don't be sad because our case will help you. Now you can go to your domestic court with the judgment from Strasbourg behind. And you are very, this, this makes you strong, you can go. And this is also a message I would, I would like to, to, to tell, if, even if you can say, okay, it's just, it's, it's law, it's just a, a verdict and um, maybe it doesn't change anymore, not, not much because uh, it's, of course, it's, 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 uh, it's compulsory, but governments, as you know, can also ignore and, um, and do things uh, as if or not, not at all. I mean, we are not in an authoritarian regime in Switzerland, yeah. but we just feel now how um, how much opposition and also hatred we 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 encounter. People say, "What is this? This is a, this is a, a European court. We are a, a strong democracy in Switzerland. We decide. The people decide. It's not it's not it's not uh, up to to uh, foreign judges to impose us something. So now we are in big fight to." <laughs> to uh, that victory is one thing but now making things happen and convince people that really um it is it is important and uh, that they just can't say uh, any um, always no 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 we don't want and go to 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 vote for for um parties who say um, no no we don't want that um, just to add you just mentioned parties Mm -hmm. So talking about parties, what is kind of the leadership pattern for Switzerland and how are people taking this landmark victory in the country right now? Did they say it as something good that people are aware of the climate crisis itself, meaning the population? And what is kind of the leadership framework when it comes to climate crisis? people voting because they want to vote for climate leaders or they are just voting to just have someone there that they like as their favorite well um we have actually we have a, we have a, we have a big debate uh, on 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 democracy here this our verdict is just provoking a, a huge debate on what is a democracy and uh, the people uh, actually on power the parties on power are very uh, upset and saying um this um, court is is kind of of um, oversteering 
our democracy because it's the people who say yes or no to to laws and uh, but of course this is this is a nice um, a nice uh, um, ideal and we, we are very proud of it also it's a good thing to have to have rotations to have the possibility to take referendums to make people vote on if they want something or not but our democracy is not just uh, vote making people vote on 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 thing and 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 on 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 this thing or another it uh, a democracy is based on fundamental rights on human rights um we have a separation of power uh, you have you have the law who is on the basis of democracy you have constitutions in the constitution of switzerland for instance we have um, the the duty to protect people also so it's 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 a bit of very weird discussion to say um Swiss people don't want they voted no in 2021 to a CO to a, a greenhouse gas emission law um because it 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 uh, it was uh, there were there were taxes in it and and um and quite strong some quite strong instruments steering instruments so um of course, it was it was a very it was a very uh, deceit, uh, a big deception that people didn't uh, that the, the, the uh, Swiss Swiss citizens didn't want this this law. But um, as I said, um, you cannot make vote people on 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 reintroducing, for instance, a death penalty or something like that. You have you have the basis of human rights, and we were. We and, and fundamental rights, and you have also every citizen has the possibility to seize mm -hmm. a court, and uh, so that's what we used, and now we want. So that this this doesn't please <laughs> some uh, some uh, some um, parties. That um, is of course uh, is not our problem. Yeah. So thank you so very much for making this statement that you guys won, and I'm really happy about the fact that these are women that are even older than us, that they are fighting for us, looking at the fact that their generation have to do something about the climate crisis in order to prevent the future generation from bearing the brunt of this crisis, which even show more exemplary actions that you women have taken to see that we have environmental protection. As you just mentioned, talking about democracy, I have this perception that there is no democracy without environmental protection, you know, because it's affecting the basic human rights, which is one of the main aim of democracy. And looking at the fact that Switzerland is a democratic nation, I think such kind of ruling, it's a winning for everyone, not just for Switzerland, but for everyone around the world. That's that's just, the, excuse me, that's just the point. I mean, uh, Switzerland has been, has been condemned of not doing enough. Huh? Mm. But by this uh, verdict, uh, every every European uh, country or my, my, every every country that is takes part of 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 the European Council, it's not the European Union, huh? not to confound, it's the it's the European Council. So it's 46 European countries mm -hmm. who are directly <laughs> uh, also mm -hmm. um, um, uh um how do you say <laughs> they are directly um affected, affected by this by this verdict yes it, it's also valid it's it's a european uh judgment of course it's 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 against switzerland but i mean every country has to 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 get online now on this verdict meaning it establishing a carbon carbon budget and uh, looking um how much can we still uh, do at, in terms of emissions of greenhouse gases uh, until our budget is our, the part of the, the fair share of our budget uh, on planetary um, on the planetary budget is 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 used and I think the, the the Switzerland doesn't have any carbon carbon budget we don't know what our fair share is. Uh, we don't. We just know how much we in tons or megatons we emit every year, and this is this is something very important. This keeps us um, internationally on 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 comparison 
on, on also with countries who, who, who don't have a, a big um, impact and uh, I think this is this is this is really important we have we have a we, we don't only have domestic emissions, we have uh, emissions of our consumption. We are a rich country. Uh -huh. um, we, we have a lot of consumption and this, this, all these articles, these consumption articles are produced somewhere. They use, um, they use, um, uh, uh, there they, are greenhouse gas emissions uh, that are uh, uh, provoked by, by our huge consumption. And we have a we have a, a, a fossil trading place in Switzerland, which is uh, which is very important. We have a financial trading place, who generates uh, lots and lots of, of of greenhouse gas emissions abroad. So that is this is uh, something now really we have to think about and say um, we have to okay. we have to do something. Yeah, thank you so very much for also answering those questions. And just to ask. What is your advice for people in the climate space? Because sometimes it could be tiring. Sometimes you may not get the desired result. Sometimes it could be frustrating. So what is your response to people that are out there fighting for climate justice? Because I believe that you could use different means to fight for climate justice. You just use the court litigation to fight for it. So what is your advice for people then in looking at your story, how it started some years ago, and now this year, 2024, you had the victory that was a landmark victory affecting different, more than 40 countries. So tell us what is your advice and from your experience, what is your advice? Yeah. I will try to do that. I think there is no general advice. We choose the um, the litigation in court because uh, uh, we saw also that that um, the climate use movement was getting uh, exhausted, and um, we 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 just said this could be an opportunity. This could be a new way too. So um, it there is not one or another and the important thing is that if you have to analyze the situation what has been done where um, are maybe promising issues that haven't been um, explored before and you have to get a uh, real good uh, support support and i think with the with the non-governmental organization organizations who represent a uh, population or part of populations uh, of, and environmental issues is, is, is they are getting very important actors. For us, Greenpeace, for instance, was a, was a um, uh, NGO who was really supporting without them. We couldn't have gone so far. Same thing was value is, is valuable also for for the Dutch uh, judgment. I didn't uh, talk about it, but this was also something who what inspired us because um, uh, the the Dutch NGO who went uh, to court in 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 the, in uh, in in, um, in the Dutch country in the Netherlands uh, they won um, and uh, so we thought maybe we can also do this. Uh, it was a, a famous Organda case I'm speaking about. This was inspiration for us. So look look what is your situation. Where are the forces you can use? Where are the NGOs you can you can you can rely on it? And there is also a kind of, uh, an important issue of financing. I mean, we are talking about money and, uh, and about big money. Who is who is on power? So you need some some uh, some also financing and people behind funding. Funding is very important. And uh, then at least uh, at last time I, I must say this is uh, this is about solidarity. It's about building bridges. It's about uh, about uh, fighting together. Also, um, joining forces is very very important. Nice. Thank you so very much because um, I saw that in Greenpeace they wrote about it, but. Um, just as you mentioned, joining forces together with different organizations, getting financial support also to be able to carry out our activities. And so just before we wrap this up, 
Is there a project that the senior women for environmental protection will be working on? Or you women are trying to unwind and maybe just tell us a bit about the next line of action for you guys? Well, the, the next steps, um, well, actually, we are just uh, <laughs> answering questions and, and just overwhelmed by, by reactions uh, nationally and internationally. But uh, now we have to we have to to stop a little bit and and to think about our next steps. Uh, the thing that I can tell you is that we will we will be watching very closely our government. How are they going to implement and to to realize this this judgment? Um, they will count. They will have to count on us. We stay mobilized. We really stay uh, awake, and uh, we are not just going back to uh, back home and. Um, Take care of our grandchildren and do some knitting. Huh? <laughs> we will, we will, we will be, we will be uh, there again, and um, we will join forces, try to join forces, and to, to, to convince uh, the the people that uh, this is the right way to do it. That something has to happen, and we are convinced that people are not just uh, um, this this. Uh, what what out what our parties who are in 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 um, on power actually uh, are talking about pe people are really concerned. You can have surveys and everything, uh, and if you if you do surveys, you can see uh, yes, there is a problem of inflation. Yes, there is a problem that people are having more and more uh, difficulties to 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 uh, also middle class now here in Switzerland. To, to get to get along and to to finish her, the months uh, without a completely um, empty portemonnaie, but but um, they they are concerned and we have to do measures and we have to insist on measures uh, that will not punish people but that will um, help them. So this is a, a long long fight that is uh, before us, and we will need every support uh, we can get. Thank you so very much. And just to tell you a very big thank you to for the fight that you're able to win, Stephanie and our colleague, the Senior Women for Environmental Protection. I think this is a good path to trend with, and this is really a bravery effort to, um, to work on or the path for us to follow, because this is something we could tell people in my country about this victory and how we could also replicate that or localize it, because they were so bravery enough. Question? Yeah, so they were so bravery enough to be able to make this policy a reality, the first of its kind of judgment by the European Court of Human Rights, which shows the connection between climate change, human rights, democracy. And now they're embarking on a project on how to sustain this landmark victory by seeing how the government of these different nations could be able to push for the necessary policy to make climate justice a reality. And this is how we fight for climate justice, using different means. Imagine women coming together to solve the climate crisis issues. So imagine that women also have to play a big role in solving the climate crisis. So thank you so much to you and your wonderful colleagues. Thank you, thank you. And, and, and I wish you good luck for your very important project, uh, which is impressing. I've reading on it and I really, I really hope for you that you can succeed and thank you. save Lake Chad, which is really impressing the work you do. All the best and um, I hope we, we meet one day.